Welcome back. A quilting guild in Madison is honoring their late friend by making a unique donation to the Ronald McDonald House. Their gift helped not only the group mourn, but gave comfort to those in need. Chris Lundberg has the story. People all deal with loss in different ways, but for this group of women, they kept their hands busy by making quilts for a cause. Well, actually over a hundred of them. <laughs> if the high country quilters ever had a master craftsperson, it would have been Ann Smith. Ann was the most positive, wonderful, exuberant person. She made this group a home, stitch by loving stitch. The thing about Ann was that she was always willing to help others. And her loss nearly ripped them apart at the seams. That really shattered us for quite a while. <laughs> Anne and her husband, Rusty, were visiting Australia for the birth of their grandchild when they got into a fatal car accident. She had been looking forward to being a grandmother, and after such positive, wonderful news, it was very hard to hear um, that she was gone. More than just her memory, what Anne left behind was fabric. And lots of it. Anne, you had a heck of a stash. Her daughter asked the Quilting Guild to use the materials to make quilts for the Ronald McDonald House of Madison. When families check in, we try to make them feel as much, you know, comfort and, and welcoming as we can. And these quilts and blankets are just wonderful because they're just that personal touch. Over a hundred quilts later, the High Country quilters say that Anne's memory is in every hem, hoop, and hand stitch. The fact that people came from all over the state to contribute really says something about Anne and how she touched people's hearts. The circle of life in each cozy quilt. Giving just keeps on giving. Anne was a very giving person and and we tried to take the spirit that she lived. The Ronald McDonald House said that this gift came just in time for the holiday season. If you're interested in giving, you can check out the details on their website. For News 3, I'm Chris Lewenberg. The High Country Quilters meet regularly. They say that this entire project has been a healing process for them all.